Hello, and welcome to Pool Pro Office training video series. Today we're going to review how to add a new service order. I'll go ahead and head to my service tab. And if this was going to be a new customer or a new client, you've never completed a service request before, you would go add a new service warranty customer. This would create a new blank record that then you could uh, process the new service warranty call. Since this was an existing customer that called in, I'll go find that project. I'll type in Bloodworth, and there's John and Jennifer Bloodworth. I'll pull up their digital project folder, which will have a service tab in it, and I'll head to the service tab. In the service tab, I'm going to create a new service order. I'm going to click add a new service order, choose the frequency. If this was a weekly maintenance or if it was quarterly, biannual, opening or closing, in most cases, if it's a service or a warranty call, uh, it's going to be per visit. I'll create that new call. And I also have the option of either choosing as a work order or if I need to create a proposal for this client, I could create the proposal. But this will be a work order. Once I create the work order, now I can put in the information. This is going to be a leak detection. And we're going to assign that to our service tech. It's going to be issued by myself. And the type of work, this is going to be a leak test. Work type, this is a warranty since it's an existing customer. And we're going to schedule that. The order dates uh, today. Status is waiting. I'm going to go ahead and schedule that for today out and I've scheduled it. After I fill out that information, um, I'll go down here to the individual line item and we're going to put zero since it's a no-cost item. Once I filled in some information here, which is a requirement, then the print email work order or email work order button appears. So I could email this work order to if it was a subcontractor that was doing this service or if it was a warranty station that you need to email this service ticket to uh, take care of it. Once that's done we have basically created a service ticket. That service ticket would also then be able to be seen here in service on today's service calls. There is Mr. Bloodworth's leak detection. We have all the information we need here. Uh, email address, phone number, the order info. Uh, here again we could print or email the order form. We could complete the invoice for this if it was completed. And it would. we can also add the resolution or additional notes. This service call would also then show up on the calendar view too. And there we are to this is today, so I'll go to today. And we can see there's Mr. Bloodworth, and that's a leak detection. So I could also complete this. Let's say it was completed. I could go ahead and click complete, and it's going to change the color code to complete. So that service call was put on a daily list, it was put on the calendar. So you can manage those service calls as you've created those service calls. Uh, we also have the ability to view that in what we call schedule management, which creates that same list. It'll have that description. Uh, the di biggest difference on this one is we can view, go back to the service call, and I could actually complete the invoice and receive payments against it. Uh, so some people like the service management report view. 
We also have the capability in both views, uh, in the daily and in the service warranty schedule management, view the uh, location map of the service calls. So that's how we create that service call and put it on the daily calendar and on the daily schedule. Stay tuned for the next one on how to create a batched service for weekly maintenance. Thank you.